has been convicted of assault on another player during a league fixture. Now, Kamara was found guilty at court in Shrewsbury for assault on Shrewsbury's Jim Melrose, who suffered facial injuries as the teams left the field last February. Kamara is now £3,000 worse off after fines by the court by Swindon Town and in lost bonuses and appearance money. Now, keep an eye on Kamara in the number four red shirt because set against the possible disgrace to the club, Swindon's directors and management have had to weigh up the ability of a midfield player constantly involved in so many of Swindon's goal-making moves. Now, since he went out of the team, suspended for his misdoings, Swindon slid out of the promotion race in Division 2. Now, Swindon have missed the ability of the former Portsmouth and Brentford schemer who can score goals too. Now, Roger Malone has been following the story today, so what is the situation, Roger? Yes, Ian, uh, Swindon have offered Chris Kamara a new contract. He's considering it, and I gather he wants to ask the club some questions about the content of that contract before he decides whether he will accept it. Of course, fascinatingly, Ian, there's also the question of Jimmy Quinn, the 32-goal leading scorer. His contract is... Kamara, who's proved to be Swindon's outstanding midfield player over their past three excellent seasons, has today refused the club's new contract. Kamara became the first player to be convicted in the law courts of assault on another player during a league fixture. That was back in February when the fracas involving the Shrewsbury Town player Jim Melrose hit the headlines and it cost Kamara over £3,000 in fines and lost bonuses when suspended. Now this is a player who scores goals besides setting them up. When Swindon's management decided last week to offer Kamara a new contract and not sack him because of any disgrace to the club over the court case, it did seem for the club's supporters that a key man was going to stay and join in the push towards Division One next season. But now, that cannot be guaranteed. Well, Kamara claims he's not had a raise in his basic wage for three years. We gather the club's attitude is that Chris is not in a position to call the tune, all things being considered. So Kamara is free to talk with other clubs. Well, let's hope Swindon don't lose a man who's itching to prove what a lot of football he's got left to offer after his bad times.